Yo, y'all know what it is, y'all know what it ain't. Oh, Black Louie, he spoke on this before. I just, I guess this is the first time it's going viral. And he didn't really go into details. He just gave us an answer that we was all looking for. Uh, King Von couldn't be stopped that night. And that was obvious. That's obvious to the to the person with eyesight. That King Von was, got the money. He's a savage. He's a known savage. He liked to fight because he can fight. And he obviously has this image to uphold. Not saying he do things for an image, but he's just a gangster. So when he do gangster shit, they're like, oh, that's just mine. And when he went out to go attack Quando Rondo, not knowing it was going to be his last gangster moment, he unfortunately lost his life. Oh, Black Louie got shot in the head. And this other person I'm going to speak on in the video later today, they both got shot in the head. But besides Wooski, the main one catching flack for not being the same and not being able to fully recover, even though he looks fine to me. Louie hasn't really received that black that backlash. And when I was watching the DJU interview, and from old images I seen with Louie, they, Louie made a, not a full recovery, but he's making a speedy recovery. And I always thought, that same night, if anybody was to say anything to King Von, it'd probably lead to him criticizing them. Like, what well, you not down the ride, you're not you're not with the gang, you're not you feel me? My these niggas gonna do this, but you're not. And so that's why you get that's why you get surrounded with a lot of yes men. When it's a person who can't really be controlled and not able to listen and understand that just because you the person who leading the gang, that don't mean that you're not able to learn something new from a person who probably don't got the same um the same image that you have. And and that's just kind of what I, my takeaway from when Louis said, could nobody stop Vaughn that day? So that means even before this incident, Vaughn was kind of the person where his mind's made up. It's made up. And now we got to get to Wooski. I watched the interview with Wooski. Um, he most definitely ain't the same person that we see in this video right here. If you look at this Wooski right here, you get a clear eye of Wooski, alert. Um, even his facial structure look different. I'm not going to lie to you, man. And it's not a knock on him because I'm pretty sure if I got shot in the head, my head big as fuck. I'm pretty sure it'd triple in size and I would not be the same. But something I noticed with him and Louis, they eyes, they eyes seem like it's, it's shrunk in size. Like this, the, the, I guess just the whole, um, the actual total size of the eyelids is seeming like it's more of a slant. Like, they always have some good weed. But Wooski didn't answer his question about FBG Duck. A lot of people said that Wooski got emotional. I didn't see Wooski emotional, but I most definitely did see um, him not really feeling comfortable answering that question. I don't know if it's because he couldn't think of an exact thought right then and there, like they best. Because who knows how Louie and Wooski, especially Wooski, memory is affected by this. Um, who knows if he can actually even remember certain memories, um, just besides a few. And then, but when he was asked about Mom and Duck and that OnlyFans, he walked out of the interview. Him and Young walked out. I don't know if it's because they got so much respect for Mama Duck that they just didn't want to indulge in that conversation. Because obviously, it's a it's a it's a little jab of her character. I'm not saying that it's used to discriminate her, or talk about her in any kind of way, but. You know, she proud of the OnlyFans, so I don't understand why other people would feel like it's a knock at her credibility. She got her promoting that shit, you know what I mean? She getting money off that shit. And Wooski obviously didn't like it. He got up and walked out. A lot of people saying it was his girlfriend that canceled that interview. And if that's true, then y'all got to get off her heels, man. I know people crack jokes about her all the time, but she doing her best to keep Wooski um, out here engaged with the media. Because you know that's not him going live all the time when he wants to. I'm pretty sure she probably forcing him to do it. She probably forcing him to get in the stool from time to time. So get that lady some credit and ease up off her, man. Get in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think below. I'm gone.